Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, this is that custom 400 that I built, uh, I don't know, last week, something like that. An old 400 uh, body that I had and uh, painted it with this hammered metallic pewter paint. And it actually came out quite, quite nice. And I built a uh, matching tender for it out of an old American Flyer tender. And put Mark's uh, tab and slot uh, couplers on it. Anyway, added a traction tire to this and uh, added a dummy 400. Now this is an old 400, had a uh, broken uh, side plate. So as you see, I've removed the intermediate gear, so it's just freewheeling. Still has the armature in it, but uh, just a freewheeling unit now. And 20 tin litho cars. Just wanted to do an experiment, thought I would document this. So it can pull it with no problem at all. So, as you can see, you can do a lot with these old engines with a really, really minimum amount of money. Now, this was a wreck that I just repainted, pulling a uh, 490 that had a broken side plate that was never going to run again. And uh, just by adding that uh, vinyl tape traction tire, this thing is pulling this with 20 cars with absolutely no problem at all. It looks nice, it runs well, it costs almost nothing. So like I keep stressing, you can get into this and uh, run model trains on a real budget. And it's really surprising what you can get some of these old engines to do just by adding a simple traction tire made out of vinyl tape. As you see, this is running really well. And it's also pulling a dummy 490. So, a really simple way to modify a, a plain old Marks 400. And uh, just resprayed it with this paint. Had this old tender that came in a box of parts, didn't even know what it was. Uh, I got a message saying it was an American flyer and uh, just added uh, tab and slot couplers to it, repainted it to match the engine. And this actually looks quite nice. Really, really simple, of course. Are they worth anything? No, they're not. Uh, the thing is, though, that's the, the beauty of it is they didn't cost anything either. I, mean, I think I maybe 10 bucks in this. I'm not even really sure. I have so many of them now. But... Uh, when you can take an old piece of junk and uh, make it look new, and as you see, uh, this engine looks absolutely new. You would never know this was made in 1958, 1962, something like that. Uh, there's no damage to it. It was just in terrible condition. Uh, scratches and nicks and dings. And that uh, hammered paint uh, literally just covers up every blemish and makes it look like it's made of metal. As you can tell by this finish, it, it, uh, the same finish as, it looks very much like it's been powder coated. It's that kind of finish. But it looks nice, it runs well, it's powerful. Uh, it can pull 20 cars plus a dummy engine. Uh, so it's actually quite impressive for a Marx 400. This is a really, really simple, inexpensive engine. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video on this. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.